kind of summarizing what happened uh, in case you guys are unfamiliar with it the original voice actors for bayonetta 1 and 2 came out with a four-part video expressing her, her feelings about the fact that she was offered four thousand dollars uh by platinum games to uh be the voice actress for bayonetta 3 but there was uh, a part in her uh, in her third video where she actually called out jennifer hill but this is her official response jennifer hill tweeting out with regard to bayonetta 3 as a longtime member of the voice acting community i support every actor's right to be paid well and have advocated consistently for this for years anyone who knows me or has followed my career will know that i have great respect for for my peers and that i am an advocate for all members of the community i am under an nda and am not at liberty to speak regarding this situation my reputation speaks for itself i sincerely ask that everyone keep in mind that this game has been created by an entire team of hardworking, dedicated people and i hope everyone will keep an open mind about what they've created finally i hope that everyone involved may resolve their differences in an amicable and respectful way with love and respect to you all jennifer hill he confirmed basically what we were surmising the last couple of days was that she was bound by an nda I had a quick little update about the director of bayonetta we were talking about the fact that he left twitter yesterday well he's very much back Oh, I need to give a shout out to Stock Tracker, by the way. Stock Tracker is the one that reached out and told me about the uh, the response on her Twitter. But the last thing he tweeted was uh, just in case. Again, good people shouldn't tweet me for a while. I'll delete it all. Uh, to which uh, this particular tweet kind of got me uh, slapping the knee of sorts because uh, this person tweets, uh, you don't have the uh, balls, you won't delete it again. And then a prompt, promptly after that one, he says, bro, he quick and uh, he was blocked. But needless to say, that has become an inside joke, right? For a lot of people. Apparently, I wasn't familiar with Hideki until until recently, but apparently that's, a, that's his thing that he does. Um, but we were saying about the fact that doesn't necessarily make it right. Just because someone is known for being rude, disrespectful, and unprofessional, and, uh, you know, doesn't make it uh, right, however long they've been doing it. Not constructive to be attacking people, especially when it comes to, like, name-calling and calling them out on things that are totally unrelated. It's not a, it's not cool to attack this person. Uh, she had nothing to do with it uh she didn't maliciously uh say anything or do anything to add fuel to the fire but anyways uh that was miss jennifer hill's official response anything notable to speak of or um important important information i'll come back on live and, le and let you guys know the next planned stream that we do have though is this coming wednesday and we're gonna be talking about i mean we're gonna be seeing the reveal uh, you guys of the new silent hill game it's been a long time of coming and this is the perfect season to uh to hear about a new silent hill it's it's halloween season we're gonna be continuing our halloween nights series with i believe you believe we're gonna continue the series this uh, evening with a silent hill a mystery silent hill game how about that but until we see you next time guys and girls stay safe stay awesome you're cool.